Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? Besties, I am back. Don't kill me. Y'all probably didn't notice that I left because I've been super consistent. I've been a little miss consistency on YouTube lately. Like, I've been on a roll with my channel. But I have not filmed a sit down video since before I moved into my new apartment. And if it sounds a little echoey in here, that's because it is. I have stuff, like I have furniture and stuff, but it's still like pretty like empty in my apartment. I'm still furnishing and I am gonna take you guys along on this journey of me furnishing my brand new apartment. But yeah, that's another video for another day. Anyway, back on track, I'm back y'all. I tried to do my little setup cute because I still don't have my YouTube set up here in my apartment, but we're gonna get it together. But I was missing y'all OD, like y'all don't even know, like I kept saying like, I gotta film a video, I gotta film a video. Like I've been giving y'all vlogs and stuff. And vlogging, I found out is like super duper fun. I'm very boring, but y'all seem to love the vlogs. So I gotta keep getting the vlogs every Sunday. But y'all need some content too. And I know for a fact y'all been missing the perfume content, the luxury bag content, all of that. And it's coming, it's coming besties. So today's video, I decided to do a summertime collective haul it's currently i think august 5th or 6th so it's the end of summer but i've been doing a little shopping i know i know i should be saving my point but it's fine it's fine <laughs> I've been trying to look, you know, smell good, look cute for the summertime, and I've been doing just that. So if y'all want to see what I've been picking up for the summertime, just stay tuned and keep on watching. So I think the first thing I want to show y'all is like the biggest thing in this collective haul is these shoes. <laughs> And when I tell y'all, like, it's people that, like, but I wear them, they're like, oh my gosh, you got them. Like, I've been looking for them everywhere. They've been sold out, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I got them. And I got them on sale. Mm, if you know me, you know, like, I'm all about a sale. I want to say, like, 80% of everything I own is on sale. Like, we don't do full price up here. We're going to find a discount code or something. Y'all know I'll be putting y'all on, but I, sorry, I, I couldn't put y'all on to these because I had to make sure I copped a pair. I'm so in love with these shoes, and I cannot believe I found them for such an amazing price. So, y'all, are y'all ready to see them? I'm mad excited. To this day, like, I've worn these shoes. Like, every time I go out, I'll be like, I want to wear my shoes. So every time, like, I go out, I wear them. But I'm still, like, mad excited, mad hype. They are just these Gucci slides. So they are in the dust bag. They each came with their own dust bag. I'm not going to show you out the box because the box came messed up, demolished. I was hoping that my shoes that I had spent so much freaking money on were still in the freaking box. They were, thank God. But, yeah, they are just these Gucci slides. And, y'all, they are the new Gucci slides. <laughs> Oh. But y'all, oh my gosh, let me take the tissue out. I keep the tissue to keep them like perfect. But like, look how perfect. And when I got these, I was like, yo, these look big. I have like small feet, I guess. I would say they're small, but like these, when they came out the box, I was like, whoa, these look like a size 10. But they are a size, they don't have the size on them. Oh yes, they do. Do they? What size are these? All right, y'all, I had to look on the box because there's numbers in here, but I wasn't sure what number was what, and I wasn't sure if I got them in my exact size or size up. So yeah, these are in a size um, Italian 38. I'm usually an Italian 37.7, which translates to a US seven and a half, but I had to get these. Well, I wanted to get these a half size up just because like, you know, certain European shoes, and designer shoes do run smaller so i wanted to make sure that they fit because i would have to send them back and then probably not ever get my shoes ever again because i was watching these shoes like crazy watching for them to appear but yeah super duper cute they literally go with everything and if y'all know brown is my aesthetic so i wear these with everything every chance i get i'm gonna wear my shoes because i pay for them i'm going to wear them they are just so stinking cute at first they did hurt a little bit so i would have to like wear band-aids around like this part of my foot so that it wouldn't like cut into my foot but then like the more I started wearing them like the less it hurts and I love them so I have absolutely no complaints with these shoes it have literally been my favorite shoe of the summertime so if you guys can copies I highly recommend 
you get them. So yeah, next we are going to hop into fragrance because I know the girls have been missing the fragrance content. I already know. Y'all ain't even got to tell me. Well, y'all have been telling me that y'all been missing the fragrance content. So I know. I miss it too. Y'all know I am the fragrance girl. I am y'all fragrance bestie. So I'm here to put y'all on. So the first two fragrances I want to show y'all are two cosmopolitan fragrances. And if you know me, you can probably guess what these fragrances are. I only got these two fragrances. Well, I don't want to say I only got them because yada, yada, yada. What enticed me to get them and like the motivation, but I was going to get them regardless. Let's just say that I'm rambling. I'm, I'm trying to explain myself to y'all. But no, I was going to get these regardless because if you know what fragrances I'm talking about, then you know that they are a part of a collection that I currently own. And these last two were completing the collection. Also was having a sale. It was like their fragrance sale, like their annual fragrance sale or something like that. I forgot the percentage, but if you know, you know. I don't know how much the percentage was, but I think they retail for like $45, $50. And I got them for $20 a piece. So I'm super excited. So the first one I'm gonna show y'all is Good Energy by Cosmopolitan and y'all, y'all know my juice box fragrances. They are so stinking cute. Like I cannot, I cannot. As you can tell, like clearly it's going to be a citrusy scent, super cute, super fun for the summertime. Sometimes I just throw it in my purse and when I take it out to like spray it on myself, people are like, oh, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's perfume. And they're like, oh, really? And I put them on. But let's go over the notes for y'all. So the top notes are mandarin orange and passion fruit. The middle notes are mango papaya and tiger lily. And the base notes are musk sandalwood and coconut milk. And I think this is my second fragrance with the coconut milk note. And when I tell y'all, it's just like another really cute, flirty fun summertime citrus scent like you know nothing phenomenal at all but it was only twenty dollars on sale and like i said i adore these little fragrances like so freaking cute and you know y'all know i'm a fragrance collector so i wanted to add it to my collection so super cute if you like citrusy scents it gives me like citrus with the hint of sweet vanilla it's a little creamy because of the coconut milk and you kind of smell the other fruit involved like the papaya the mango the passion fruit like it, it gives you very tropical vibes so that's why i really like this and it's a go-to for for any occasion honestly definitely a daytime scent if you're running out to the grocery store or even if you're just going to work it's like the perfect like fun scent <laughs> So the next scent I have is Happy Place, also by Cosmopolitan, and y'all know I'm obsessed. So freaking cute. I actually prefer this scent over the orange one. I don't know, like I smelled the orange one first thinking that I would like that better, but once I smelled this, I was like, oh yes. Maybe because I have a lot of orange fragrances. Well, not a lot, but I have like tangerine-y, orangey fragrances that have those notes. This is the only fragrance I have that's a little more lemony and clean and fresh. A perfect everyday scent. I'm gonna go ahead and read out the notes. So the top notes are passion fruit and pear the middle notes are yuzu and red berry i'm assuming yuzu is like a lemon is in the lemon family because this smells very lemony and the base notes are musk and woodsy notes if you want like a nice clean fresh lemony scent go ahead cop her let me go ahead and smell her because when i tell y'all oh i can already smell it mm. what does this smell like it smells like a candy like it's not like juvenile smelling, but it smells like like a lemon candy that I've had. Not like a lemon head, but something like, I don't know. I really, I really can't put my finger on the type of candy, but it just smells so good and so edible. And it doesn't smell juvenile. Like it's sweet, but not juvenile. It still is very sophisticated. So if you're into citrusy scents, again, cop these two and you will definitely be satisfied. All right, y'all. So the next three fragrances I have are also a part of a collection. <laughs> And they are actually new. They literally just dropped, I think, like a month or like a month and a half ago. I don't know. But when I saw them, I was like, yeah, I got to cop them. Because I do have a fragrance from this brand and I absolutely love it. But it's not in full size. So I got to get the full size. But these are in full size. So the first one I want to show y'all is Sea and Soul by Sol de Janeiro. And y'all, if you haven't smelled a Sol de Janeiro scent yet, go ahead to Sephora and just smell them. I think there's only like one of their scents that I don't really care for. But I already have a Brazilian Bum Bum scent. I have that. I love it. So I was like, oh, let me let me try these out. And these were a blind buy. I did not know how these would smell. And I fell in love with every single scent. So this one just has juicy citrus and ocean musk. Y'all. Mm. It's very candy-like. If you're not into very candy sweet, it definitely reminds me of a blue airhead. 
I don't know. Like, I don't know. But it's edible. I just want to eat myself. Like, take a bite out of my own hand. Like, this smells so freaking good. So mouth-watering and so sweet. Some might find it juvenile. So, maybe this scent isn't for everyone. And it's definitely very different from, like, the scents that I choose to put on my body. But I, I'm very satisfied. Especially for a fragrance mist. Like, you can spray this in your hair. I literally spray these scents wherever. Because like, you know, they're just fragrance mist. Like, they're not like perfumes, but they definitely do last a very long time. So I, I love this. I highly recommend this one. So the top notes of this scent are juicy citrus and tangerine star fruit. The middle notes are pink pepper and fresh violet. And the dry down is ocean musk and white driftwood. I don't know, like I feel like reading these notes, I would get that this was a little more sophisticated, but it's very, very, very sweet like almost too sweet to be like a sophisticated scent and if you are that like really girly girl that likes those overpowering sweet scents like it's not too overpowering where it will get you a, give you a headache but it's like you know just enough amount of sweetness i definitely would recommend that you pick this up this is actually my least favorite of the bunch but i still definitely love it out of all three this is number three but i definitely still love it i promise y'all so the next fragrance i want to show y'all in this collection is tan lines and she's number two she's definitely number two but she's still a very very great buy when i first smelled this like straight out the box because like i said they were all blind buys i was like this definitely smells like something and I really could not put my finger on it. And it smells like delectable. Nothing that I have in my collection. Like I knew it was nothing I had. But it was something that I've smelled in the store before. That I feel like I may have wanted. I, I just couldn't put my finger on it until T said it smelled like Soleil Blanc. Y'all, this is a Soleil Blanc dupe. So if you cannot afford Soleil Blanc, which I cannot. <laughs> get this. Get this. Get this. Get this. Get this. $20. $20 for Soleil Blanc and you can lie and say it's Soleil Blanc because well I'm not gonna lie and say it's Soleil Blanc because I want y'all to know that this is the cheaper alternative to Soleil Blanc but it just smells amazing oh my goodness if you've ever smelled Soleil Blanc before it's so creamy it does smell like sunscreen and honestly it kind of smells better than Soleil Blanc don't add me at your mama but <laughs> it smells really really good it's a lot more creamy y'all know Soleil Blanc smells like sunscreen but like high-end sexy sunscreen this gives that but it gives a little more creamy a little more sweet and that's why i like it so much so the top notes are let the coco so that's why we get that creaminess and warm sand the sunscreen the beachy smell of it the mid notes are solar tuberose and lang lang and the dry down is creamy vanilla and amber essence y'all go smell this because i promise you you will buy it you're gonna spend your 20 dollars and then you're gonna come back to this video and be like jada i bought it i'm glad i told you so the next one in the collection y'all is tropical nights this is my favorite i you can't tell but i definitely put a dent in this i was supposed to film this video before i started using them i took this with me to maryland to my boyfriend's house and i was spraying it everybody was like what do you have on and i put them on on tropical nights this definitely gives me a perfect vanilla scent perfect for layering it kind of reminds you of madagascar vanilla but not as warm because i haven't worn madagascar vanilla since winter time it's definitely a nice summer vanilla not too warm so the top notes are mandarin oil and night blooming jasmine the mid notes are vanilla absolute and patchouli y'all know i love my patchouli so y'all knew it was gonna be my favorite y'all 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 knew this but okay and the dry down is creamy tonka bean and tabasco leaf absolute sexy that's what it gives just sexy i have nothing else to say just go buy it go buy it and fall in love because i did all right y'all so we are done with the fragrance section of this video so now we're gonna move on to something that has recently become like a obsession or like a collection of mine like i recently become a collector of designer shades i know i know I know I know besties I know I might have a problem but again I don't pay full price I don't I go to Nordstrom Rack I go to Sex or Fifth and I find me some cute shades that I like for literally a fraction of the price so I'm going to show you guys my new shades I've been loving in order of which I got them so the first pair are these Fendi shades so this is the case that they came in these were from Nordstrom Rack well okay so all these shades are either from Nordstrom Rack or Saks or Fifth so I, I can't remember I have so many these are super cute they are just in this tortoise they have this 
nude cream on the inside super duper cute they're kind of like rounded cat eye a little bit like that little shape and then they have like the little fitney on the side with like the little bubbles i think they are so cute so freaking cute perfect they honestly fit my face so perfectly I love these. These were the first ever pair of designer shades I've gotten. They are such a go-to staple. Love these so much. So the next pair of shades I have are these Saint Laurent shades. This is the case that they came in. So there's just this cute leather case and it's embossed Saint Laurent on the top. They open like this. Saint Laurent in gold right here. And then when you take them out they're just like these regular black shades like I got the tortoise brown shades for like you know my brown outfits but I was like I need a regular black pair of shades they give me Ray-Ban vibes they're very square and boxy they just have this embossed or is, is it embossed I don't know they have this black YSL on the side they're literally all black super cute they say YSL on the inside and both sides have the YSL on the side in black super duper cute so these are super duper cute they give me that girl but like that girl without trying like wear these you know if you're going to go run or jog in the park going to run to Starbucks real quick in the morning before work um <laughs> I wear these to just go move my car go to Walmart like you know simple stuff like you could have on like the bummiest fit or even just skims throw these on and it gives that girl I promise y'all like I love these so much super freaking cute so the next pair i have are kind of like a big girl pair it's given i made it but y'all know i ain't making it but like it's given i made it <laughs> but i definitely got them on sale and they are these celine shades um i kept the box because these are my first ever pair of celine so i'm giving everything but you just open the box and they come in this cute leather case. It has like the kind of caviar skin. It says Celine in gold. They open like an envelope like the YSL ones. It says Celine in gold again. And then here are my shades. Another very simple black pair. But the shape of them are very much cat eye. Like they give square and boxy but cat eye a little. Oversized, super cute. They kind of protrude out a little bit. I don't know if y'all can like see. But they give that girl. They say Celine on the inside. It's kind of embossed into the inside of the arm. And then they say Celine on this side only. Super cute. Like they just give very much. I'm that girl. I don't have to try too hard. I love them. Like y'all y'all and if i don't reach for my ysl shades I'm, i reach for these because these give these definitely give i've never seen shades with this shape like it's just uh, love it 10 out of 10 recommend and lastly are my newest pair my newest babies i actually got my mom a pair too for mother's day hers are really cute I kind of wish I got myself hers too, but these are cute. They are these Fendi shades. So again, another leather case. It says Fendi. They open up like an envelope as well. And when you take them out, uh-oh, the little duster. The duster says Fendi too, the little uh cloth says Fendi. And all these come with authenticity cards just like any other shades. They're just somewhere either on my dresser or inside the case. So yeah. So they just look like this. They are super duper oversized. Super duper. When I showed my mom these she was like your little face fit them shades. Yes girl back up. Like she wanted these. Which I feel like maybe we should have swapped shades. It's not too late to swap shades. So maybe we will. I still love these. Super oversized. They are brown. They have the little F's on the lenses. And then they say Fendi on each side. Super stinking cute to me. The only con about these shades is that since they're so oversized and my face is so small. Like y'all see they're very oversized. But I love them. I give bougie mama like i just i just give that girl with these shades or i just freaking love these shades but the only con is i always have to push them up on my nose because they be falling they be all the way down here and i be having to push them back up but it's fine because i'm just still that girl like look at them look at me do i look bothered with these shades on no unbothered it's giving very much hater blocker like who you talking to <laughs> So yeah besties, that is all for today's collective haul. I hope you guys enjoy. If I can, I will have the links to everything in the description bar below. Like I said, all my shades are from Nordstrom Rack or Saxo Fifth. So they might be sold out, but then they might still be on the website. So I'm 
still try to post the link and still try to find the link to everything but i'm super duper happy to be back filming sit down videos for y'all when i tell y'all i was missing sitting down getting glam for youtube even though i didn't do too much i literally just have my skims and a little sweater but i was missing it i was missing y'all so i'm just glad that i'm able to pop in show face and it's not a pop in pop out type of thing content videos every wednesday at 6 p.m make sure you tune and turn on that bell for post notifications so that you are notified every time i upload a video follow me on instagram because i be posting when i upload videos every sunday and every wednesday i'm not really that active on my instagram anymore because instagram we not gonna talk about her she's she's been acting ghetto lately so yeah we're, we ain't we ain't been messing with her but definitely like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye loves